Hello there and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. Jesse Puller here with a quick video on the new Highway Zealot uh, 45 Shadow Ops. I've uh, had some requests for the 45s as the 70s are a little bit tougher this month and that's due to the Russians hacking. So um, here we go. This is um, uh, a way to do these with no damage whatsoever and uh, primarily I use air however uh, in the very beginning and in the very end I use uh, uh, some ground what I do is I bring in uh, Jericho I do have the the gold HH targeting for an extra 100 range and I think that's what allows me to do this if you don't have that you're gonna probably take a little bit of uh, damage and you'll notice that I, I retreated Jericho and brought him back in that's because if I don't that second um, special forces guy will come out and then he'll he'll nick my uh, my Jericho just a little bit the cool thing about Jericho is he can get out of the way of these um, these special nightmares that um, kicks I has with the range of I think it's 1,000 range they have an incredible range uh, these are lower level ones, so they don't have that much range. But if you'll notice, it's it's either a thousand or fifteen hundred. It's a really long range that those nightmares have. As soon as you deploy, they're shooting at you. And uh, that's the first unit really that I've seen that has that kind of range to be in the middle of the base. And as soon as you deploy, it's uh, already uh, shooting at you. So my strategy here is after I take out that entry bridge area with the three defenders is that I use my Omegas to pretty much knock down the left side and I'm trying to stay away from the hunter which is in the middle in the back and I want to come around um, and take out uh, be careful there is a lot of anti-air uh, special forces and so just take note as to how I'm approaching these guys. I, I target something on the ground before I get close to them and that brings out my bombers and that protects me. The bombers are what protects you and I'm just ending there. Uh, you can go all the way around the back also. Sometimes I just go all the way around the back and I don't end. I just was ending there to make it a little bit quicker and uh, So now I'm going to do the right side, pretty much the same thing. You do want to make sure that you take out the railgun, the floater, the floating railgun, heavy turret there. But I'm pretty much just clearing this up with, and, and you know, there are some talons and so forth that you have to watch out for. Notice that I'm targeting. Uh, certain things on the ground so that I'm moving both of my Sandstorm and my Titan at the same time. If you try to target some air, only your Sandstorm will move, of course, and uh, the Wingman for the Titan will move, but if you want the Titan to move, you have to either click on the ground or target something on the ground. And you're trying to get them to move together so that... Uh, The sandstorm stays protected underneath the Titan. Notice the two uh, anti-air guys there in the back. As long as you target something on the ground and you get some bombers going, then you should be good. I'm trying to give this base away. I'm trying not to kill all the buildings. So um, that's part of the reason why I didn't go around in the back. I was trying to save the CC, um, but uh, I wasn't able to trying to get away but boom CC went fortunately uh, that power plant did not go and I came back to my base just to see if there was any damage to the air because it showed that there was a little bit of damage to the sandstorm but the sandstorm was fully protected underneath the Titan so sometimes there's just a glitch and it just shows a little bit of damage when it's actually not that happens to me actually quite often. 
Now, obviously, the hunter, you know, you can't take out the hunter with your air, so um, this would be a lot quicker if I was just going to take it out, but I'm trying to take it out and not take everything out. I'm trying to leave that power plant in the back, so... Sometimes when, when uh, one of your targets starts coming for you and there's some walls in the way, the target will have an opportunity to shoot you because they shoot right through the walls and you can't. Um, because they're their walls. Just like on your base, you can shoot right through the walls and, and your enemies can't. So I try to clear the walls out of the way. Obviously, I didn't have to go for this guy, but I don't know if they're going to use air or ground, uh, the person that I'm going to be giving this base to, so uh, I'm just going to clear out the air and the ground for them. So it could be a lot quicker. All I had to do was take out that hunter, basically, and then, uh, and then I could come in with uh, a cyclone or something and taking out the power plant. I'm just going to clear everything out here. Just in case the uh, power plant dies, that's why I was saving the hunter so I could give them at least some building. It's, it's kind of hard at the very end not to. If that splash damage took out that power plant, I would have taken the base and I didn't want to do that. So I was saving the uh, hunter just in case. So power plant left, no damage anything. No damage on Sheila, and no damage on Jericho, and no air damage. So, I hope this is helpful, and um, with these, you can do them really quickly. I think uh, five or six minutes, and they're done. So, uh, good luck with that, guys. See you next time.